I intended to buy a Note 10 Plus but every review, without exception, rated the P30 Pro camera as the absolute best. I have since seen the Note 10 Plus and the features are comparable but the P30 Pro is more professional. The Pro settings are more like a 35mm than the Note 10 Plus, and the zoom is a marvel. The Pixel 4 Plus may be better yet but it's not out. The iPhone 11s are nowhere near the P30 Pro in their specs. Look at the MP ratings. I included 3 pictures. The butterfly, a morning cloak, was taken hand held at 1x on a windy day. It shows the detail the camera can get under difficult conditions. The boats show the detail it can pick out in a standard landscape. The water lilies were shot with the telephoto from about 30 yards. All these were handheld and a tripod would have allowed the AI to beef up the detail. None have been modified or edited. I have only had this phone about 3 weeks and I am still learning how to use it. I have a picture of a heron that was about 100 yards away handheld. The camera's AI tries to improve detail by having you hold the camera steady but without a tripod it produced shadowing. Other features need work by the owner. Google software takes the place of Huawei's systems in most cases. This is not always smooth for me as I am not an expert on the area. After three weeks I've adjusted to most of the software differences. The current price at Amazon for a Huawei P30 Pro is about 60% of the best new iPhones and much less than Samsung's. Worried about the spy thing. The president of Microsoft, its chief legal officer, recently asked the administration to stop the nonsense and allow Huawei to fully enter the US market. Whom to believe, an industry bigwig or 12 lies a day Donnie. Politics aside, the Huawei P30 Pro packs a great camera into an excellent phone. Did I mention the 2-day battery? I like it very much, just upgrade from my old P9. The only downside is that the charger is not for US socket. A converter is needed if you want to use its 40W fast charging feature. I've been using this phone for 3 weeks. The most impressive thing about this phone in my opinion is not the Camara. Don't get me wrong, the camera is as good as everybody else said. However, I don't think the image quality here can replace what I get from my DSLR or my mirror less. It's just above average when compared to other phones in the market and having full set of lenses that fits in my pocket is quite a new experience. Now, back to what I love the most about P30 Pro, it's the battery. When I opened the box for the first time, the phone had 33% of battery. I received the phone at work around 10.30am and didn't have a chance to recharge it. I ran around all day that day and used the phone like usual, making calls, texts, emails, read documents, web search, GPS, etc. Only didn't have a chance to watch video or listen to music. By 9.30pm, 11 hours later, the battery went down to 1% and I just barely made it home. So, 33% for 11 hours with normal usage is pretty good for me considering my old phone can never last more than 4 hours in the same circumstance. After the first day, I always start the day with 95-100% to battery. My days normally start at 8.30am to 10pm. I've always come home with 40% left after 13.5 hours. This is definitely new to me. No more power bank, no more looking around for an outlet to charge my phone, no more fighting over the charger with my wife and kids when we're outside, 
no more rushing to my bedroom to charge my dying phone when I get home, etc. I can use my P30 Pro as much as I like when I am outside without worrying about putting the phone in battery saving mode. When I came home, now I can relax, sit in the living room a bit, spend time in the kitchen a bit. Unlike before that I have to run to my bedroom to charge my phone right away because it's about to die in 5 minutes. What a different sensation. Just an FYI, my old phone was a 2 years old Samsung with 3600mAh battery. My wife's is a year old iPhone that battery always run out at the end of the day. P30 Pro last all the way through the night. The second best thing about this phone is the charger. I used Samsung all these years and very familiar with their fast charge. However, I've never seen anything like Huawei's supercharge. It's just crazy fast. A lot of times at night, I went to bed and forgot to charge my phone. Woke up at 5 am to realize it and start charging the phone. Usually, the phone has about 35% left. After taking shower and getting dressed which took me about 20 minutes, once I am done the phone will be charged up to 90% already. If I waited 15 minutes more, it'll go up to 100%. Couple days ago, I spent a lot of time waiting for people so I watch a lot of videos to kill time. I used up the battery more than usual but still had 26% left by the time I got home. So, watch and stream video consumed more power but wouldn't completely drain out the battery of P30 Pro. Enough with the battery, as I mentioned before, the camera is good for as long as you don't expect the full frame or APS-C quality. For smartphone, however, this is absolutely the best for still photos. Video, unfortunately, is another matter. Although P30 Pro can shoot 4K but it's only limit at 30 FPS. If you're looking for a better video capability, Samsung S10 Plus is a better choice because it can shoot 4K60. The P30 Pro, on the other hand, is limit even at 1080p because it's only does 60fps while S10 Plus can go up to 1080p 240. Click link in description for more reviews.